Okay, here's the garden. And it's outside of the pool. There's a barn and my greenhouse. I built the greenhouse when I bought this property um, about 18 years ago. And since I'm a landscaper, it gave me a place to hold plants until we're ready to use them. So if I go around in a circle here, you can see right now it's pretty empty because it's fall. <clears throat> And we've already had the main part of the season for moving these plants annuals. There's three river birch, which are so beautiful. I love the way they, the branches are almost horizontal. And um, there's something about having three, I think. It's gorgeous. <laughs> so. This is an area that kind of hides the pool equipment. And the area around my pool is primarily made up of hydrangea paniculata and many kinds of Japanese maples. This is Aurelia. I love this. It's kind of new to me as a perennial and it can take complete shade. It's mid-September and the phlox are still blooming, which is amazing. And these hydrangea are all limelight. So you can see the color they turn around now. They went from lime green to this beautiful corally vanilla color. And there's some more over there. This is sculpture. This blooming shrub is called Lespedesia Gibraltar, and it blooms right now. It's gorgeous. More around the pole, more hydrangea, lots of drift roses. That's a blood good Japanese maple in the distance. And there's another Lespedesia, <laughs> and of course more um, hydrangea paniculata and lots and lots of different kinds of Japanese maples, which I consider as good as it gets. This backdrop is a curly willow <clears throat> that was simply a rooted curly willow once, and we stuck it in the ground and it took, that was probably about 15 years ago. We're surrounded in the distance by the Schuylkill Nature Center, which is 400 acres of land. So, I'm really, really lucky.